Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another video. We are talking about the relatively small matter. It's only small, no real big deal, small story. No one's really talking about it much. It's just a little something about the superstar that is Lionel Messi leaving Barcelona officially. He's not going to be re-signing or anything. Like I say, it's not a massive deal. Messi's officially left the Spanish Giants and is now on is now officially a free agent, a full-on free agent. We're going to be talking all about this news story uh, on what might happen next to Messi and so on and so forth. But before we go any further, I would like to remind you all to please like the video and also subscribe if you're new. Both things are always and very be greatly appreciated. Now, let's get back to talking about, like I say, this relatively small matter of discussing Lionel Messi, who's officially leaving Barcelona and will not be re-signing with the club. It was the news that shook and rocked the footballing world yesterday. No, I'm not talking about Jack Grealish signing for Manchester City, but Barcelona officially announcing that Lionel Messi won't be re-signing with the club was the news that broke yesterday and totally overshadowed everything. It was a monumental moment within football. By the way, just Whilst I've mentioned the Jack Grealish story, if you didn't know because you've been living under a rock or maybe you've got Internet Explorer as your browser, internet browser, Jack Grealish officially completed his move to Manchester City yesterday. His £100 million move from Villa to City yesterday. The biggest transfer in Premier League history. And whilst we all sort of knew for days that this was going to be happening, most of that focus that was on him and and this move has now shifted onto this news. And let's face it, there was only going to be one man and one story that was ever going to eclipse and overshadow such a historic moment in both Premier League and football history. And that is obviously this. This news came from Barcelona, who released a statement that read... Despite FC Barcelona and Lionel Messi having reached an agreement and clear intention of both parties to sign a new contract today, this cannot happen because of Spanish La Liga regulations on player registration. As a result of this situation, Messi shall not be staying on at Barcelona. Both parties deeply regret that, that the wishes of the player and the club will ultimately not be fulfilled. FC Barcelona wholeheartedly expresses its gratitude to the player for his contribution to the aggrandizement of the club and wishes him all the very best for the future in his personal and professional life. This has been a completely mad, very long, up and down, crazy story. And its conclusion was something that I think nobody really expected. So, for those that haven't been following the Lionel Messi saga, Messi had verbally agreed a new deal with Barcelona several weeks ago. Uh, it was a deal that was verbally agreed between both the club and, uh, and Messi himself. It was to stop, basically, Messi from talking to other clubs and other clubs from making approaches to Lionel Messi that they had an agreement that eventually, once Barcelona had sorted everything out on their end financially, they could officially make uh, the deal go through because obviously Messi had become a free agent at this point with his original contract with the Spanish Giants expiring um, at the end of last season. Like I say, despite reportedly taking a huge pay cut into making this deal happen in an attempt to help out the club financially, the only stumbling block appeared to be the financial rules and regulations set by La Liga uh, because Barcelona needed to cut costs. And to do that, they really needed to move some players on, sell some players, and they haven't managed to do that to balance the books. This, like I said, that, that couldn't get done. So due to economical and structural issues, Barcelona haven't managed to remain within the league's guidelines to make this deal viable and all above board. And it pretty much just confirms what we all have known for a while, for a few years now, that Barcelona have been a sinking ship for years. 
Financially speaking, of course, a lot of transfers and other off the pitch decisions haven't quite panned out how they would have ultimately liked. Uh, a lot of financial decisions haven't exactly gone their way and they've just been ultimately run very, very poorly. And in this situation, it's not only cost them on the pitch with a loss of Lionel Messi, but it's cost them off it too. It's cost them off the pitch because they lose a lot more than just a player. They lose a lot of eyes on Barcelona and Spanish football in general because of how much of a huge figure he is in the South American market. So it's not just Barcelona that have obviously lost out here. It is, it is La Liga, the Spanish league that I've missed out because of how big of a figure Lionel Messi is, is a, as a superstar. Not just in obviously Europe as we see him, but also in South America and Argentina and stuff like that where he's from. So La Liga miss out here and make a huge loss here too. But also for Barcelona again, He's obviously the biggest shirt and merchandise seller at the club and obviously they'll miss out on a lot of money there too. So where does Messi go from here? Where does he go? Well, considering he's a free agent and arguably the best player to have ever graced the football pitch, the footballing world is his oyster. You can probably imagine that a lot of social media admins of a number of lower league clubs are currently readying uh, jokey kind of tweets about how they're in talks with Messi or confirming their interest or saying that uh, a very good player of theirs is obviously better than Messi, so they're not going to be uh, going into talks with Messi or trying to negotiate a contract for Messi or whatever it may be. Something jokey, something light-hearted, something humorous, something like that. But in all seriousness, there are only three places, realistically, in my mind, where he could go to. Uh, they include Chelsea, Manchester City and PSG. They're the only ones that have both Champions League football and the financial backing to get this deal done, pay his wages, whatever it may be. I would obviously love to see Messi in the Premier League. I think he'd be a fantastic addition to have, even at the age of 34. It would be great to see him in the Premier League. It would also be amazing to see him in a Liverpool shirt, but of course that is unlikely to happen from my personal opinion but for what he would bring to not only the club he goes to but to also the league itself I think it will be an excellent addition for the league to have for whoever club gets in to have so on and so forth. City and Chelsea are obviously far superior in England and of course have the financial backing uh, and have obviously Champions League football to offer him as well to get this deal done. And whilst you could argue that Manchester United may be in with a shout as well, it doesn't seem like a deal that they would do. It seems quite unlikely to be honest. But I think we all really know where he's going to be playing his football next season. I think we can all pretty much, if we were betting people, all pretty much have a safe bet that Messi's likely de de next destination will be in France with PSG. Reports have already begun emerging that Messi and PSG are already beginning negotiations and of course when you remove the club element of this of the side of negotiations because Messi is a free agent it would make this deal seemingly a lot easier to go through or be done, dusted and dealt with, completed in a much swifter fashion you'd imagine. PSG have the financial backing to pull off this deal and I'm, and I'm sure on Messi's side of things a chance to play in France, in France's best club, a chance to reunite with his good friend and former teammate Neymar uh, wouldn't be a bad thing either. He's also got his fellow countryman Angel Di Maria there as well. So the betting in process at a new club when you've got people that you already know there with those two presents alone uh, obviously wouldn't take a lot to, to achieve. And could you imagine, could you just imagine for one second, let's just sit back and say that PSG went on to pull this off. Let's just imagine that they did. Could you imagine it? Not only would they have had the greatest transfer window in the history of all transfer windows, possibly with Messi joining the likes of Gianluigi Donnarumma, Sergio Ramos and Jorginho Wijnaldum all have walked through the door at PSG this summer, all on free transfers. 
and not to mention the addition of Akraf Hakimi from Inter Milan. But they would have also acquired the most frightening, most terrifying front three in world football. Messi on the right, Neymar on the left, Kylian Mbappe through the middle. Or you could have Kylian Mbappe on the right, Messi through the middle. It doesn't matter. That is the most terrifying front three possibly imagined in World War. That is like FIFA Ultimate Team level of incredible front threes. And I'm not just talking about being a terrifying front three for the defences of those in the French League, but also for the rest of Europe as well in the Champions League. PSG are probably one of the favourites to go on and win the Champions League this season, even before we've entered the group stages of that competition. You throw Messi into the mix of that squad, with the addition of Messi, they'd certainly improve their chances. But if Maurizio Pochettino doesn't win the French League this season, or arguably the Champions League, serious, serious questions need to be asked of him. It's just the way it is. Look. Messi, maybe 34, but as we've seen for Barcelona in their toughest season during his time there, he still he still came out as the superstar. He still got it. He's still going strong. He still spearheaded Barcelona to a title challenge and helped them to a Copa del Rey triumph. And for Argentina in the Copa America this past summer, in which he practically dragged Argentina all the way through that tournament, and in the end... He finally got his hands on that all-elusive international trophy that he has been wanting his entire career for Argentina. The man is still going extremely strong for his age. Whoever gets him will have obtained arguably football's greatest ever talent, greatest ever player. A man is still going strong into his mid-30s. And whilst he could help with results on the pitch for whoever he signs with, Imagine the income that that club is going to receive off the pitch from all the shirt sales, all the merchandise with Messi's face and name on it. It will be a monumental signing for whoever gets him. A gargantuan signing for whoever signs the one and only Lionel Messi. This will be the biggest deal of the summer. There's no doubt about that. And arguably this will be the biggest deal in football history but we will have to wait and see what the future holds for one Lionel Messi but of course they always say these are just the thoughts comments opinions predictions whatever you want to call it at this guy I want to know what you guys think what do you make of this Lionel Messi news that he won't be re-signing with Barcelona and that he is free to wander around the footballing world and go to whoever and wherever he wants I'd love to know your thoughts, comments, opinions, predictions, whatever you want to call it on anything to do with this Lionel Messi saga down below in the comment section. I'm sure they'll all make for interesting reading. Otherwise, hit that like button on that if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you're new or want to see more content like this. Both things will always and forever be greatly appreciated. And as always, thank you all so much for watching and listening. I've been Fletch. This has been another Fletch Talks video and I will see you all again soon in another video.